Hey, welcome to the Moral News for the week of March 17, 2023. First off, uh, crazy stuff from Germany, from the Catholic Church in Germany. You wouldn't have expected this, but guess what? Here's a synod that's meeting. They are voting there for overwhelmingly for to ask and request for same-sex blessings. This is a practice they say will begin for them in 2026. Let's look at the vote announcement. So, 202 people have agreed. We close the vote. So there it is. They expect that. But there was actually two documents, two very substantial documents voted by the Synod there in Germany. And the second one maybe is even more amazing than that one. That seems pretty amazing. But they also have a whole one on gender relations and transgender and what they call intergender. And what they want to do there is, according to the document, they're kind of telling the Pope, this is what we want. This is, we need an official response and this is what we need to do. And he's got a whole, they've got a whole list of business there. They're in full favor of total gender diversity. Nobody should be penalized in any way, shape or form if they're transgender. Uh, no language should be used by the church that, that in any way makes somebody uncomfortable. Uh, they even are in favor of, if, it, if it, they even state this out, they voted this, that a child, a child who wants to change genders, that the parents should have no say, the church should completely recognize it, and uh, that should be able to happen anyway, straight away. So this is this is where the German Catholic Church are. Now, historically, the Germany is separated. The North is more Protestant. The South is, is Catholic. There's a pretty sharp division there. But the, there have been sexual, homosexuality issues and so on in the Catholic Church for a long time, not just the Catholic Church. But here you see that uh, it's really intense. And, of course, we go to Revelation 18 and we find Babylon is one of the things mentioned. That every cage, it's like a cage of every unclean bird, every kind of sexual deviation is there in the end of time. It's inside the church. So um, to see this really isn't that surprising. But, wow, it seems kind of crazy. So they've given the Pope his marching orders. It'll be interesting to see how the Vatican responds. By the way, you've got a quite, a, quite an enormous group of Islamic people in Germany now. And for the churches to witness to them, when they see this same-sex blessing stuff, I mean, that's a total killer. That just destroys uh, the witness. The Catholic Church probably doesn't expect to win too many Muslims there, nor, nor the liberal Protestants, if they're going to keep on with all this same-sex business. But, hey, sorry, guess what I said? This was the moral news. Well, let's look at another item here, and this is Rick Warren. Last last week or the week before, we talked about Southern Baptist Convention decided they're going to not allow the Saddleback Church to continue in its group because they want to make women serve as pastors. And uh, so, yeah, look at this response from Rick Warren. What's he going to do? Oh, is Saddleback going to appeal this on the floor of the uh, Southern Baptist Convention in June? In my heart of hearts. I just want to walk away from it. You don't want to be where you're not wanted. Right. Okay. I knew last year at the convention, but I don't, I don't think I can do that. I think that's a selfish thing to do. I think I need to stand up for the pastors who are scared to death by this inquisition. And I think I need to stand up for the millions of godly Southern Baptist women whose gifts and leadership skills are being stymied. And so I'm, I'm, I'm going to most likely appeal it. The, yeah. Not for my benefit. We, we don't need it. We, yeah. we don't need the Southern Baptist Convention. Right. Uh, they need the 6,000 purpose-driven churches that are in the Southern Baptist Convention. So, yeah, it looks like they're going to contest this. Uh, by the way, uh, tomorrow, in a day or two here, we should have another video up here on the, on the side here. I've got a couple of friends, and uh, we're going to do a little quick analysis of Rick Warren's uh, reasons in favor of women's ordination. So we'll have a little video on that here coming right up. Well, let's go on to another item here, and this is in China. I'm going over to China now, and guess what? No surprise there. It's totalitarian to the core, but you now, if you're a Christian, you want to attend church, you need to register on the government's smart church app, smart religion app. Uh, go on your smartphone. You have to register for every single religious observance you want to attend. If you want to go to a prayer meeting or a worship service, you've got to register the government will send you back a uh, a code, an access code, and you have to enter in your code, and now you can maybe attend that meeting. So this is this is what you've got there is just overweening control by the government. And you know what? Don't be surprised if you see this headed our way because here in the West, because 
This is what the people, they want to control every which thing, every which thing. Just put it in, just go through and, and, and fill out an app. Uh, here's another item, finally. Uh, this is a sad item in Germany again, but we're turning back to Germany. Two events in Germany now and the horrifying scenes at Jehovah's Witness Hall in Hamburg last night. We now know that a gunman who entered the building killed seven people, including an unborn baby. The child's mother survived. The attacker then took his own life, and while his motive remains unclear, police have revealed he was on their radar. Previously a member of the congregation, he was visited by officers only last month following a tip-off, but they decided not to take away his gun. The gunman began firing in the car park, then through a window, before climbing into the hall where 36 members of the Evangelical Church were worshipping. Two dozen more watched the horror unfold online. The shooting stopped soon after the police arrived and began tending to victims. But one more gunshot was heard on an upper floor. The gunman had taken his own life. So I don't really look at the Jehovah's Witnesses quite as a regular church. I suppose most of you don't either, but we still feel sad for what happened. Uh, the interesting thing is that I'm sure the powers that be will use this to try to restrict uh, guns and so on there in Germany. And of course, you get everybody disarmed and yeah, then the government can sort of do whatever it wants. So we look for more of this kind of thing. And also associating violence with churches. I think that's a piece. Let's be encouraged in spite of these things. I believe the Lord Jesus is coming visibly, visibly, audibly, personally, actually, uh, perhaps very soon. Look at the way things are going. But let us let our hearts be right with God and may his blessings be upon you this week in spite of this crazy moral news.